get these five linemen to pay attention to me and the four down linemen next to me so that he can get in free. <laughs> as this can be the best way to stop outside runs against this formation, as it allows me outside containment and we get another stop. As I do this setup on the next two plays and he only gains one yard total, as I make the same motion out with the linebacker and it makes this defense look just like the 4-3 even 6-1 only with a blitzing cornerback on one side and a safety on the other, meaning faster blitzes and better coverage. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my custom offensive and custom defensive ebooks, but if you guys use team playbooks, you can find this in my Saints offense and Raiders defense as well. As always, if you guys want more help or more money plays, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys gameplay from my online CFM that I made with subscribers using updated Madden 25 rosters. If you guys want a chance to potentially join this league when teams become available, I will leave a link to the Discord server in the description. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. This really helps out the video and the channel, and I appreciate the support. The defense that today's video is about is the B-Nog, the Big Nickel over G, which is a formation I spent a lot of time on earlier in the year before I switched to the 33-odd. But I lately found that this defense has been giving me much better results and since the last patch reversed the fatigue penalty given to safeties i want my substitutions to reflect that so i'm going to put my fastest cornerback in this spot here since he'll be going after the quarterback on most plays then i want to replace both of my linebackers with sub package safeties for better pass defense giving me seven total cornerbacks and safeties with four down linemen for run defense the most important coaching adjustment is to set zone coverage to match and turn auto alignment to base to hide your coverages, as I'll be switching in and out of several plays in this formation. The plays I'll use the most though are the SS Blitz 3 and the SS Blitz 2, but I also use Cover 6 Traps sometimes to mix it up, but I find that this coverage isn't nearly as good as it was earlier in the year, as Cover 6 Invert might be the better version now, but I still have to lab this a little bit more before I can put that out. This defense might look small, but it's very good against the run if you make the adjustments that I'm going to show you guys today as my opponent will try to bulk up with three tight ends a lot of the game and try to pound the rock on me. On this first play, I try to shift and spread to the tight end side, and he just goes the other way. But I also didn't get the full setup in as I have an adjustment for that as well. But it also helps to have inside stuff on guys like Jalen Carter as we get the stop on the next play. I choose the SS Bliss 3 after that, as this play is probably my favorite. And he runs an RPO that I'm going to have to watch for the rest of the game. As RPO plays are easy to shut down as long as you man the correct receiver running it, which I didn't do here. The setup for this play is simple, as all I have to do is pinch the defensive line most of the time and hover the center close enough that my pass rush bars pop up over my user's head like this, as this lets me know that I am being targeted to be blocked by the lineman. So the goal is to get close enough for this to pop up, but stay far enough away that they won't jump out and lock onto me if it turns out to be a run play. I also like the hard flat a lot since that is one of the biggest weaknesses of the cover three, the area underneath the dropping cornerbacks outside. This is also a matching cover three which can get glitched out pretty easily as the outside cornerbacks tend to man match routes like zig routes when matches on your coaching adjustments like I set up earlier. So I will hard flat most of these plays as this adjustment also turns the matching principles off and I really only set match up for the cover two and the cover six trap plays that are programmed much better. And since he only needs four, the hard flat meets the running back in the flats, and I almost get an interception. He decides to go for it on fourth and four, and he makes a very similar adjustment by motioning across the receiver. So I continue to sacrifice my hard flat so that I can man the most likely RPO receiver. Only this time, the blitzing cornerback starts to play a little bit further outside than he did on the last play, as this blitz and base defense works a lot better if the blitzing cornerback is positioned about five yards outside the tackle, as the goal is to get these five linemen to pay attention to me and the four down linemen next to me so that he can get in free. And that's much more likely at this distance as he starts to play further away and doesn't get picked up. <laughs> and the blitzing cornerback gets in right away to force a turnover on downs. On offense, I start by trying to bring back my I-form close scheme, and he comes out in a defense that I am seeing a lot online right now, where the safeties come down to the box just about every single play. But it's still a small defense, so I pound the rock and call hurry up to keep him in it, thinking that I can bully this smaller defense. How about new? But I ultimately get more running the ball with Jalen Hurts as we get as far as the red zone before I play too cautiously and ultimately have to settle for a field goal.
He tries to use a three tight end set again, and even though it didn't work out too great the first time, I overthink things, and I try to hit him with a new defense in the 4-4 split. And it works out pretty good as I get him for a loss before I switch to the 4-3 even on the next play, which fails due to lack of speed to the edge. Then I switch to my 3-4 odd, and I give up a first down, although I almost got the interception. That was a close one before I scrap all that and go right back to the big nickel over G. And his quarterback just books it around the edge for a big run and a first down, as everyone is suddenly using the screenplay glitch that makes the defense just dumb out. I also like to mix in the corner blitz three since this sends the pressure from the other side, but I find it works best against condensed formations like the gun tight. So when I align, he comes right down to the box and I almost get a sack and an interception before getting neither. What the hell was that? When I see the I form slot formation on the next play, I switch back to the 4-3 even 6-1, and I can't help but notice that this has been his most successful drive of the game against all of these other defenses, as he gets inside the red zone after back-to-back -back carries, and he didn't even get to my side of the field against the big Nickel OG. So I switch back to it for the rest of the drive. He hits me with an RPO play to get inside the 10 though, before coming out in a three tight end set once again, and I switch over to the SS Blitz 2, which I find is a slightly better red zone defense since I can hard flat outside. So I hard flat and press while also shifting my D line towards the three tight end side. And to defend against the weak side run, I also move the middle linebacker outside, as I can use the middle myself. I just have to stay back far enough so that the lineman won't target me before the snap so I can shoot the gaps better. And he tries for the biggest hole on the play, but I still get the stop. As he stays in this formation for the rest of the drive, I sit your ass down! Before he tries to run it with the quarterback and gets down to the one yard line. He tries to go for it on fourth and one, but he gets a costly penalty just like I did, and he decides to tie the score instead. And now with 228 left in the half, I get ball after halftime, and my plan is to kill clock and score with no time left so that I can try to have a 14-0 run to put this game away, before working the short game to slowly work my way down the field, playing the clock game the entire way before I have to use my last time out at the one yard line with only 21 seconds left. And now running the ball is not an option, so I have to pass as we hit the slant to finish the drive and end the half. I get the ball in the second half as well and pretty much do the exact same thing, although he has clearly learned what I was doing and is now playing the short routes much tighter. So I decide to take a shot up the seam and flip the field right away. He is still in that smaller defense, so I decide to try to run from the I form close once again, but he shuts me down to get me to a third and long, and even though I haven't had much success running against this, I decide to try one more time, and this time it pays off as we take the two touchdown lead. But there's still plenty of time left and all it takes is one play to make this a ball game. But he's not going to get that on the ground as this blitzing cornerback is huge in run support as well. Bring that ass here, boy. Before he hits a slant on the other side of the field on the next play and my defense puts on a tackling clinic. Derp, derp. As no one even touches him while he just casually walks down the sideline to get back into this game. I try to run the ball in the next drive, but he knocks Barkley out of the zone immediately, so I decide to go back to passing, as I am literally perfect on the day at 11 for 11, before I get a horribly thrown duck on the next play to end all that shit. And now it's all in my defense to preserve this lead and the game, as my opponent is now using the stretch alert looking, meaning that I will have to man someone to that slant as he gets the first down. He stays under center, so I continue to bring this extra linebacker out pre-snap, as this can be the best way to stop outside runs against this formation, as it allows me outside containment, and we get another stop. As I do this setup on the next two plays, and he only gains one yard total, before beating me with my own speed out route concept for the first. But he clearly wants to run the ball, and this defense just ain't having it, as I make the same motion out with the linebacker, and it makes this defense defense looked just like the 4-3 even 6-1, only with a blitzing cornerback on one side and a safety on the other, meaning faster blitzes and better coverage. I have the option to either hard flat this defender or just man him to the receiver in front of him, since he has been running a lot of RPOs from this formation, and that's exactly what he does, as the man defender takes away the bubble screen and forces the handoff for no gain. I do the same setup on the next play, and he tries to hit the running back in the flat, but the flat defender is all over to force a third and nine, and he tries to run around the screenplay once again, only this time the blitzing cornerback cuts it off, and we get a huge sack to hold him to a field goal. He tries an onside kick though, and now we have great field position, but when I see that he is still in that small defense, I decide to try to pound the rock once again before taking some short throws to the running back and receiver outside to get inside the red zone before another errant screen pass cost me a touchdown. I barely get the first by actually throwing to the running back, but I can't score from here as I get the exact same penalty in the exact same situation Hi! and have to settle for a field goal once again to keep the door wide open. 
He still has three minutes left, so he starts by running the ball, but it only gets him so far as we eventually slow it down around midfield, and it was costing him too much time, as I get him to a fourth and one that he barely converts. Before switching it up and hitting the running back on a screen play for a few yards, as I eventually get him into a critical fourth and seven, and he tries to hit the running back on a wheel right underneath. <laughs> But Sidney Brown has been playing those flats like a boss as we end the game only to see him come out on a field goal block defense on the very next play to basically allow me to score. As it turns out that his running back was in a breakout game so he needed the ball back to get the 100 yards total needed to get him up to superstar. And my defense is just knocking him backwards further away from his goal. But he does get it and I got the win so I guess we're both happy as we move on to 5-2 and two on the season and are looking to go on a run. So that's, that's the video. If you guys want to see more gameplay plays like this i will have them popping up on screen and until next time thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below